Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight, and as promised, we're going to show you a couple things in the now installed KDE desktop that you might want to tweak for uh, on your live USB. Let me show you the first thing is how to get the network manager icon or the volume icon working. Basically, what's happened is remember Antics doesn't use systemd and, and Debian does, so everything is set up to allow it to be friendly with the systemd system. So we need to make a slight adjustment. And as much as I hate to do it when I have a full desktop environment, we're going to need it's easiest in the console. We are going to go to, uh, let's see. Yeah, can I make that? Yes, I'm going to make this bigger. There we go. We're going to make the console bigger so you can see it a little bit better. And we're going to go to cd slash etsy slash pulse slash, uh, I think it's conf d if I remember right. Oh, client.conf.d. And there's a file in there called disable auto spawn. We actually want it to auto spawn because we don't have uh, system D's uh, whatever part of system V does it does it for him so the easiest way to do that I don't want to remove this file or edit this file because if Debian updates whatever package that is attached to uh, probably pulse audio then that file will uh, um, be reset or potentially be reset but these files are sourced these configuration files are sourced in order so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file to 01 enable auto spawn. You just want a number higher than the double zero and you need the dot conf extension. Root password and now I'm going to edit that file and where it says auto spawn equals no I'm going to say yes because we can't comment it out like the instructions in the in the comp say because otherwise the existing double zero version will take over. So say yes and if we log out and log in, our volume icon should be working. Oh, I can't use the buttons. There we go. We're going to log out. And then we're going to log in. And we should have a volume uh, control when we get back in. And there we go. Our volume icon has converted over to something a little more useful. And you can see, though, that our network connections, nothing actually shows. Now, I am connected to the Internet. Why is that? That is because in the, the Antics core system is still being used to fire up the Ethernet um, uh, the, 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 the hardwired connection that's available in VirtualBox. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the uh, network interfaces file, which is where that's configured. Whoops, I need to say nano. Nano Etsy uh, network interfaces. We're going to comment out these two items. These tend to run afoul with Network Manager a little bit. The network Manager won't manage a connection that's defined in this file. And then if we do uh, service network manager restart, we now see that it's going to take over managing the connection. And we are connected. It says we're connected. So we should still be able to ping google.com, for instance. And we can. So there you go. Those two items will help you uh, right out of the gate with getting your volume, mic, your volume control working and network manager taking over your network connection. That was a fast video. The next uh, video will install the Annex installer. And then we'll do a remaster so that all your desktop changes will be sent to your next system. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or annexlinux.com. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.